All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. And I think throughout my entire life, no one could accurately explain to me how to check the preload on a shaft mount rocker factory style lifter. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. You can leave in the comments how you'd like to. Let's get to it. Let me also make the disclaimer now that if you have adjustable rocker arms, it will be different than this. But the principle is kind of still the same. You need to figure out how much you're pushing in on the bottom side of that lifter. All right, here we go. So I just got my two rocker arms laid on here with the shaft. See my notch is on the back side and down. Just like Mr. Tim at 318 Will Run tells us. He's got some good videos on that. And I just talked to him. Uh, so for our push rod test, basically what we're checking is that distance right there. So whatever that amount is, is how, how far this push rod is going to depress the center of our lifter. I can get you around here. There we go. Make sure my push rods are in the center of the lifter. And I just got the engine turned up uh, just for ease of filming this. But what we have here is that distance. So what I'm going to do with my two bolts here, I just put three in to kind of center it up. These are loose. As I tighten this, I'm going to check this intake valve. Have it on the back side of the cam lobe. And that gives me the most, there we go. The most distance there. And I could actually pull this push rod out. It doesn't super matter right now because we're just checking that intake uh, but I'm going to check the intake and exhaust there we go so I'm just finger tightening these just like that and it gives us see I can still spin here everything's happy put its little red line so you can see it and we'll be able to see later if they're spinning hint hint I got a video coming uh, so these are at zero lash right there. Yeah, just fang finger torqued those two. And I've got my dial indicator ready to go over here. Let me get it set up and we'll come ahead. Right and my dial indicator is pretty well straight in line with that push rod. And I have it straight in line as much as I can on that angle as well. So we're looking for a distance here. A lot of, it just depends on the lifter manufacturer. I'm looking for 30 to 60 thousandths, typically. I think that's kind of a happy number for a lot of this stuff. And if they send you a sheet with your lifters, then go with that. Uh, these are the high lift Johnsons. So I'm looking for 30 to 60 right now. Some people run less than that uh, for performance or attempt to, to try to get a little more lift out of the cam. But what we're gonna do is just slowly tighten down on here and there and watch our dial indicator. We can draw ourselves a line on our bolt head. We put them both at 12 o'clock, like that and that. And we'll see how many revolutions we take on both sides. So then you'll kind of have a uh, ballpark measurement Example, if I want to do the other side, uh, I just checked those. I went ahead and bolted them on. I can check those using this about the same thread measurement here, but I trust this gauge more than I do, uh, you know, counting threads and, and measurement there. So let me get my gauge zero back out. There we go. And we just begin. There's a quarter turn here. Quarter turn there. See, I've moved us backwards. Not quite 20 thousandths yet. There's a half turn. That one's getting snug. I get a full. There we go. So I got almost exactly a half turn on that one. That one. Went about three quarter. 
And right now it is showing 49 thousandths. So, tightening those two down gave us 49 thousandths preload on that push rod. And you'll see here, centered in the lifter, and we can spin it. These lifters are not pumped up at all yet. So this is a good time to check that. 49 thousandths. I'm gonna back off and we'll test this one next. Now check out our exhaust on number two. We go all the way down. It's on the back side of that lobe. Push rod is centered in the lifter, spins freely and nicely. And it's at zero lash. I cannot lift any more out of it to zero my, zero my dial indicator here. So watch and see what she does. Looks like 35, 41, let's call her 41 right there. And I did just tighten this one. It's pulling this side of the shaft down. Um, both my push rods still spin freely. So we'll call that 41. I think she's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this shaft off, take off my contraption and bolt the rest down. Well, here she is with the rocker arms on. You'll have to come back for the other video to see just how all this went together. But uh, one thing I can mention, if you mark your tips, your valve stems with a black magic marker, you can do the slide a lot of times. There we go. See how that one's move both those. It'll show you a line that's pretty far up because these rockers have a really long sweep to them. I don't know if you can see that or not. Our lifters are still not pumped up, so they're not at full lift or anything, but there she is. Hopefully that helps somebody out there and gives you a little more scientific method of checking your lifter preload. Uh, the biggest deal, I know these are pretty forgiving a lot of the time. I know a lot of guys just bolt them down and try them, and if they don't make noise, they go with it. So use your best judgment and follow your manufacturer's recommended specifications, whatever. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll catch you next time.